This video presents simple programming of the Z80 microprocessor. The Z80 is an 8-bit microprocessor introduced by Zilog, which was used in computers back in the late 70s up to the mid 80s. The pinouts of the Z80 microprocessor are divided into four parts. We have the power lines where the clock is input at pin 6 and we have the 16 address lines which will be connected to the address bus. The Z80 can access memory up to 2 to the power 16 memory locations. And we have the 8 data lines to be connected to the data bus. These control lines are connected to the control bus of the microcomputer and they are divided into three parts. We have the system control, CPU control, and CPU bus control. The system control has the following lines. We have the M1 which is the machine cycle 1 which indicates that the processor is fetching the opcode of the instruction. And we have memory request, I.O. request, read, write, and refresh. All of these signals are active low. Next we have the CPU control lines which includes halt, wait, interrupt, non-maskable interrupt, and reset. Finally, we have the CPU bus control lines, which includes the bus request, which is an input signal generated by a host device, such as a peripheral, to have access to the uh, CPU bus. And the CPU will reply with a bus acknowledgement signal. Let's have a look at the components used in this project. We have the Z80 chip and connected to the Z80 uh, some LEDs. For example, the first four address lines A0, A1, A2 and A3, we have these four uh, LEDs connected. Uh, the control refresh pin, we have this green LED connected. And uh, the read pin, we have this blue LED and the right pin we have this red LED. This yellow LED is connected to the memory request control pin and the eight data lines of the Z80 processor are connected to this 8-bit uh, dip switch and here we will only input data into the processor. We also have an 8-bit uh, bar graph display to indicate the 8-bit uh, data input into the processor. Finally, we have a triple five timer running in A-stable mode generating uh, the clock signal which is fed into pin 6 of the processor. In this circuit, we will program the Z80 processor by inputting the instruction through the 8-bit dip switch. We will only use one byte instructions as input and see the effect of the instruction on the connected LEDs. The Z80 microprocessor executes three types of instructions, namely memory read or write, I/O read or write, and interrupt instructions. In this video, we will focus only on memory read or write instructions. This is a timing diagram of an instruction cycle for a memory read or write instruction. The instruction cycle is split into three machine cycles. M1, which is the opcode fetch. M2 is the memory read. And M3 is the memory write. The first instruction that will be executed by the Z80 is increment A, which adds 1 to the accumulator. This instruction has a hexy value of 3C or in binary 00111100. This is a 1 byte instruction that will require 4 clock cycles for execution. Using the timing diagram of the opcode fetch execution for reference, during T1 and T2 of the M1 cycle, the M1 green LED turns on 
followed by the memory request yellow LED and read blue LED. During T1 and T2, the program counter puts the 16-bit address on the address bus, followed by memory read operation, and then the data on the data bus are stored in the instruction register of the CPU. During T3 and T4 of the M1 cycle, refresh and memory request are active to refresh dynamic memory. In addition, during T3 and T4, the CPU uses this time to decode and execute the fetched instruction. This next instruction is one byte long with hexy value of 86. This instruction takes seven clock cycles. The instruction will copy the byte at memory location pointed by register HL into the accumulator. This next instruction is a 2-byte instruction that requires 10 clock cycles for execution. Here we will only input the opcode part of the instruction which has a hexy value of 36. This instruction will copy an 8-bit number into memory location pointed by a register HL. This instruction will have M1, M2, and M3 machine cycles, and as you can see on the M3 cycle, the CPU will do a write operation when the red LED turns on. In a future video, I will interface the Z80 CPU with Intel's 8255 parallel peripheral interface so that the CPU can perform basic I.O. operations with 8-bit peripherals. Thank you for watching.